Fox 10 Outdoors with Jason Smith. See if you can whiz it kind of to the right and past it. And then just reel it real slow up to it. Come on. I mean, that's about as good as you can do it right there. Up. Oh. Yeah, we got a triple tail on. If we could beat this thunderstorm. Yeah, it's a decent one. So triple tail like to get around structure and we found this log floating here and we were running back from fishing the rigs, heading back towards Fairhope and we picked up a triple tail and I'm using a shrimp, but we've got a thunderstorm squall that's pushing in on us too. So what Skylar's doing right now is he's backing the boat up away from the structure so that we can keep him from getting hung up in that obstruction over there. These are hard fighting fish and he may jump here uh, guys right where that cork is right there heading into that thunderstorm is the fish look at that one look at that look at him come on in that net oh, yeah, yeah there almost came out of the net that's a keeper right there that's a pretty that's a good one fishing with captain Skyler beagle we picked this one up just ahead of the storm and <laughs> blowing my head off i got you thanks for joining us on fox 10 outdoors this week and here's your fishing forecast. You can see a pretty good day tomorrow. Maybe not as windy as in that, that shot there. That was last week. Uh, winds out of the east at about 10 for tomorrow. Seas two feet. Tides will be falling all day. High tide at 715 in the morning.